Hi, everyone. Gene here. Welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, where every single week we answer the most common and uncommon questions to help you use your tapping in such a way that you are able to take more action, be more productive, and eliminate self-sabotage. If you haven't done so already, tell a friend about the podcast. You can even just hit pause right now, shoot him a text message, tell him to go to tappingpodcast.com. The way that other people find this podcast is because of recommendations by people just like you. Make sure that we take this healing force and spread it further in the world by letting other people take advantage of it. I accidentally created a four-part series. This is part two of the series in which we are working on making pro-you choices. One of the ways we deal with sabotage is by making sure we take action but it's not enough just to take action, but we need to take actions that are taking care of ourselves. And so this is part two of a four part series where we're going to be tapping specifically on things that are going to help you to move forward and take care of yourself. Because if you are not taking care of yourself, no one else is going to do that. If you missed last week's episode, episode three, four, two, just go to tappingpodcast.com, click on that so you can get some good tapping on helping you to say no to some things so you're able to take care of you. This is Gene Montrostelli, and welcome to the Tapping Q&A podcast, recorded live to tape from Williamsburg in Brooklyn. This is episode 343, originally aired December 26, 2018. Hi, everyone. I hope this finds you well wherever you are and whatever time of day you're getting a chance to listen to this. Thanks for spending some time with me today for... The last podcast of the year, we're going to spend a little time taking some advice from Jim from The Office. For those of you who are not familiar with The Office, at least the American version of it, the character of Jim was played by John Krasinski. John, in addition to being an actor, is also a director. This year, he released his third movie that he directed and that he also helped write called A Quiet Place. And personally, horror is not my genre. I stay clear of that sort of stuff. I don't enjoy that sort of thing. But I find him really fascinating. And so he was being interviewed by Brian Curtis for a podcast called The Big Picture, which is produced by The Ringer, a podcast that I like a lot. And so I love Brian's interviews. I love hearing what John has to say. So even though it wasn't a movie I saw or a movie I'm going to see, I wanted to check out the interview. And John was talking about the fact that he, up to this point, wasn't really a genre person either. He saw a scary movie as a child and just kind of walked away from that. And so once he fell in love with the story that is in The Quiet Place, which is about a family, he realized that he needed to get some help in order to be able to move forward. And so he was talking about some of his advice that his father gave him. And his father said, the most powerful thing that you can say is, I don't know. And then John talked about how he reached out to lots of people saying, I don't know, please help me. And how much it helped him to move forward. And I don't know about you, but I like to be seen as competent. I like to be seen as thoughtful, as capable of being able to stand on my own two feet and sometimes to a fault. And so saying, I don't know. And asking for help can be a really difficult thing. But if we're going to take care of ourselves, we need to be honest about where we stand so that we're able to emotionally respond to what is going on, being honest with ourselves, but also seek out and get the help that we need so we can move forward in a productive way. So today we're going to do a really, really simple tapping. And again, like all of the tappings that we do, you can get a printed out version of the tapping by going to tappingpodcast.com and clicking on the link for today's show, episode 343. Or if you've downloaded the Tapping Q&A app, which is available for Android and Apple devices, in addition to getting audios like this, it also has a printed version of the script right in the app. So you can take these tap alongs with you. So we're just going to take a moment. Nice deep breath. Tap on the side of your hand, take a nice deep breath. And we're just going to do a little tapping for being okay with not knowing. There is a part of me that doesn't want to look foolish. There's a part of me that wants to look like I am competent. There's a part of me that wants to look like I'm capable. 
there's a part of me that wants to look like I'm trustworthy. Because I want other people to depend on me. I want other people to believe in me. I want other people to think that I am capable. I want other people to be able to trust me. I'm afraid that if I say I don't know, other people aren't going to trust me. Other people are going to look down on me. Other people aren't going to think I am capable of being helpful. Other people are going to judge me. The truth is, it is useful for me to say, I don't know. Then everybody knows where we stand. People know what they can expect of me. I know what I can expect of myself. By being honest in this way, I will create the greatest success. I will move forward in the most natural way. I will be able to get the help that I need. Getting help means I will be successful faster. Because I'm not dependent on myself to figure it all out on my own. I give myself permission not to know everything. I give myself permission to admit when I don't know. Being honest about what I don't know serves me and serves everyone else. Nice deep breath. That one's hard. Being in a position to be able to just state really clearly that you don't know something. But like we just tapped on, things work out so much better when we're honest about where we stand, what we're capable of, and we're able to get the help that we want. This is the last podcast for the calendar year. Thanks for spending another year with me tapping along. Again, if there's someone in your life who you know who could use this tapping stuff, please be our ambassador and share it with them. Don't spam your inbox. Don't send it to everybody in the world. But maybe you're having a conversation this holiday season. Just grab your loved one's phone and just quickly subscribe to the podcast on the phone and show them how they can access it whenever they want. If you haven't done so already, we have a 10-part guide to help you to eliminate self-sabotage. Just go to tappingqa.com, click on the big blue button. If you have a question, if you have a comment, please let me know. I can always be reached, gene, G-E-N-E, at tappingqa.com. If you're on the website, just click on that contact link. If you're inside the app, click on contact. You can send me an email from right inside the app, or you can even leave me a voice message from right inside the app. I would love to hear from you and how we can create resources in the new year to take care of you. For the Tapping Q&A podcast, this is Gene Montrostelli. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you in the new year. Bye-bye. The Tapping Q&A podcast is copyright Gene Montrostelli, Tapping Q&A 2016. All views expressed by guests are those of the guests and not necessarily of Gene Montrostelli or Tapping Q&A.